What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, time for another weekly episode. So I think it's been a couple weeks since I've made one of these. Um, got quite a few things to talk about today. We'll get into some just stuff I've received of recently as far as Legends Pinball and um, other pinball units and various things. And we'll also just get into some arcade listings and some upcoming um, releases from Limited Run Games. So we'll start with um, my Legends Pinball machine. I received it. I was a Wave 4 um, pre-order. I received mine, I think, maybe last Friday. Not this <clears throat> Not this Friday that just passed. I've had it open for over a week. So I think I got the Friday before that. Um, got it together, put it to, um, hooked it up that, that same day. I spent like several days, I want to say, like over the weekend. Um, I haven't gotten any impressions or whatnot about that unit so i'll try to just give you a brief uh, synopsis right now but i spent i wanted to spend multiple days just with the gottlieb tables that come with it the 22 i know now with the express orders you're getting all the zakaria tables and the gottlieb tables but for the first um four waves you just got the gottlieb tables 22 of those and i wanted to see how those were because i know a lot of people don't like those tables a lot of people complain about them saying they're old and I've heard people tell me that you know say that those are you know I want I want a pinball machine that plays games that uh, you know that weren't made back when my grandpa was playing pinball type of thing that's the type type of comments that people you know have been making and I'm sure you can you know understand where these comments are coming from but I just wanted to just gather it in and see how I like the tables that came with it the 22 Gottlieb and I like them. Um, I spent, like I said, I spent probably like four to five days before I purchased the Zakaria tables because I wanted to see, play them all a good amount and just see how much I like them. And without even, I felt, for my, this is just my personal opinion, how I felt because a lot of people were like, oh, how do you like the Legends, all this stuff. Without the Zakaria tables, without the fact that I, because I, now I have the Zakaria tables, now I have my, PC hooked up to it, and I'm running uh, Pinball FX3 um, through Steam. Uh, without those, I spent the first, like I said, I want to spend four or five days just playing the 22 Gottlieb tables and playing the table, the the those tables itself. And I just came to the conclusion that it was worth the money. I felt, even without the ability to add stuff to it. Now, not everyone's going to feel that way. I get that. Some people may play those those tables, and they're like, they may. They may not like them. They may want the, the Zen uh, Studios tables, all that stuff. I get it. I felt that it, it gave me a just, I felt like a, a more authentic, I thought, pinball experience. That larger play field, the resolution, um, just I felt like I was playing pinball. Now, that's kind of like a complaint that I have with some of the Zen Studios stuff. They're fun, but I feel like I'm playing more of a video game. When I play the Gottlieb tables, I feel like I'm playing pinball. Um, they're both fun in their different ways, uh, but I just felt that the performance, the ball looks like a ball. It doesn't look like a daggone static blur like it does on the arcade one-up um, tables. It just it looks like it. It just has a better feeling as far as you're playing pinball. The, now the solenoids on it are not are not great. Uh, so that's but that's one thing going in. I just you know they didn't have some been you know some hype man out there to learn about how good their solenoids were be so i just had i had you know i my expectations were lower for this the solenoids um on the actual legends pinball which i don't know if they even use solenoids i think they may actually just use speakers i'm not 100 percent positive regardless it's not then that is definitely probably like a low point of the uh, machine the Nudge buttons are fantastic. Having those is like, which is still is astonishing that they didn't include those on the arcade one up um, pinball. I mean, to have that option is awesome. The accelerometer, how you can adjust how it works, is is awesome. So, just the overall gameplay just is, in my opinion, the experience is so much better on the Legends pinball, and that's just with the Gottlieb tables. Granted, if you don't like them tables, you're not gonna probably feel that same way. I like pinball, pinball, like I like old pinball games. So I found it much more enjoyable and just the overall experience was much better. Now granted the user interface on it was not, 
it leaves a lot to be desired. They could definitely improve the inter interface. But just those 22 Gottlieb tables, I felt that I got my money's worth out of it. Period. Okay. Now, since then, I've obviously gotten the, I got the full Zakaria pack. I paid the full 200 bucks, which we'll get into about that um, in this video as well. Uh, I like those tables a lot as well. Definitely adds a lot um, to the table. I would definitely highly, highly recommend adding those to your um, machine if you get it because it's 105 more games that play natively and you can get those are that's five packs you can get you can just get one pack which are standardly 50 bucks or all four packs for 200 dollars and i would definitely add those to your machine um i so i got those hooked up and playing as well i also got um, a pc hooked up like i said and playing uh fx pinball fx3 and really enjoyed so all in all um, I absolutely love the Legend Pinball, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's like it's it's night nice. when you when you play it. When I've played the arcade one up pinball machines, and I've played the Legends, it's like the arcade one up is like a toy, like a kid's toy. That's kind of like how it would is compared. It's not that it's not fun. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's overpriced, and it's like an overpriced kid's toy. Um, and I've heard so many people, and they're right. I mean, the arcade one up looks better, um, and that's about where. It, and it has, I say, it has a, a more fluid user interface because part of that is because there's not as many options. When you have a more simplistic set of the options, your user interface can be a lot more simplistic. That's kind of how that works. I mean, there's almost no options with it, so which is a problem. There's a lot of options and a lot of stuff you can do with the, the Legends Pinball, and they don't handle that interface as easily. But when you have a lot more options, it's a lot harder to build an interface. When it's basic as Arcade One Up's interface is for their um, pinball, there's really it's there's really nothing to do. Which is why it's like yeah, it's easy to get in and out of the game and do this and do that because it's so basic as far as what you can do. They just don't give you options for much of anything. Um, do you have a few? But it's very limited. Uh, but it just, it just, it's it. I know people don't want to hear that, but it's so much better. Okay. Now the appearance-wise, yes, arcade one up looks great. You got the Chrome. I just, I just wish they would have not spent so much money on Chrome and stuff like that, and given you better and a better experience. Because it's, it's, it's almost laughable at how much better the value and how much better. The, everything else is on the legends compared to the arcade one up where yes there are definitely some visual things as far as cosmetically to where the table does not look as good you can have that all day long but do you want a piece of furniture or do you want to play pinball and that's kind of like what it boils down to do you want to play pinball or do you want a piece of furniture and i know a lot of people who get arcade one ups products they just want they don't play their stuff i get that they just want a build a game room and that's cool maybe then the arcade one up is more for you if you want to play pinball the Legends is the way to go. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just, it's not even a comparison. It's really not even, in some senses, it's not really even fair comparing the two. Um, if, pen, if playing actual pinball and having more options, that's there's that's the way to go, okay? If you want something to look at, something that looks nice for your game room, Arcade One Up maybe what you want, okay? If you want to play pinball, not even close. Um, other than that, uh, my Star Wars pinball is actually, I think, going to be here tomorrow. So, um, that's that, that I'll, I'll hook that up. I mean, I got that one in for 550. I did, after I got the Legends, I actually was, I was going to wait till I got my Legends and see if I was going to cancel. And then my, the Star Wars had already shipped out anyways. I kind of still want that, like anyways, because it does, I mean, granted, they do look nice, okay? Um, for the 550 price, they look nice. And I just like Star Wars and I was going to, you know, kind of like do like some Star, Star Wars theme type stuff in my game room. So for that reason, I want it. So it's like, I understand if you want to get something for your game room that looks cool and is fun and all that stuff. And you want the arcade, you want pinballs. That's all stuff that you like. You like to look at it. They look cool. Um, I don't know how much I'll play the Star Wars pinball, to be honest with you. Having, it's going to sit right next to my Legends. It's very possible I may not even use it and I may end up getting rid of it. But regardless, I mean, I think it is a gorgeous looking unit. So I'll probably... I may keep it. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, other than that, uh, what is actually out there as far as now? The Attack from Mars pinball has been available, at least near me. I think that may be depend on what store you're at. Um, but that is actually available at Best Buy 
right now for $5.99. It has been for like four or five days uh, near me. So maybe it may be dependent upon your location, but for me, it's been available for like four or five days and that's that $5.99 price. That was really something I was really high up on getting and just the, a lot of things have turned me off on that machine. I've just, $5.99 is too high, way too high for that machine, especially with you have the one table that does not work and just some of the graphical problems with the, the back box and stuff like that that just look pretty crappy. I think that's the, I think the Marvel and the Star Wars machine look a lot better. Um, and I don't know. I like the tables on on there, but having the white water not work and at five ninety nine, I just think it's too high. Um, if you still want it, like I said, it's five ninety nine at Best Buy. At least it looks like it's pretty pretty um widespread as far as how far you can get it. But I could be wrong. Maybe depending on your zip code, it may not be available for you. Also, there is the um, Capcom Legacy. I know that's another one that people have been wanting for a while, and that's available at Walmart and Target right now for three ninety nine, and that's been up for multiple days as well. Uh, also, the Capcom or Marvel vs. Capcom table is still available at Best Buy, GameStop, and Target for $4.99 at all those places. Um, let me back up real quick and get back into um, the At Games product. So, the Legends Pinball Plus, um, that's Express Wave number 8, is um, going to be going on pre order on May 12th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, that's noon Eastern Standard Time this Wednesday will be the the Express Wave 8. And I've heard that those been selling out pretty quickly. I would definitely grab that. Um, if you if you were kind of on the fence, do I want it, do I not want it? I know it's expensive, grab it. If you don't know, grab it. If you're just like waiting for that, should I, should I not, grab it. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, if you're just gonna be unhappy with this thing that think that, that it's unattractive looking in your game room, I just don't even, I, it's, it's so, it's such a, pleasant experience that it just helps me to where like the looks of it where I thought we're going to just turn me off I just it's one of those things when something is so fun then like some of the some of its deficiencies as far as like just visually or just cosmetically are easy to overlook um to where like if something looks really good and it doesn't play you're like why why did you spend all this money on these cosmetic aspects when you should have spent money on a better PCB board, better better this, better that, to make the game actually play. So I'm always more concerned with gameplay first, looks second. And that's why I think I prefer the you know, Legend significantly over the arcade one-up pinball. But that goes on sale, like I said, noon this Wednesday. So check that out. Also, the Zakaria tables are on sale. If you already, if you got the Wave 1 to 4 and you don't have the Zakaria tables, that a pack of 105 games is on sale right now and i don't know how long the sale goes on for the at games like they have like a e-commerce sale or something like that going on right now and you can get all 105 tables for 135 dollars i think which is all four packs that they have and you can get um each pack individually for 34.99 right now as well and i don't know if that expires today or whatnot but it's still currently available at the time of um, me making this video also um let's get into some more actual listings so uh, Walmart still has on sale the X-Men vs. Street Fighter cabinet that's available for $349. It's still on clearance. That's been on clearance for weeks now, and they still have it. So which I'm just curious how that's I mean that's, that's a great price for that for that that cabinet. I'm just curious. It's like, man, Walmart must have a lot of these things. Uh, the Miss Pac-Man is still marked down to $319 at Walmart. That seems like a great deal to me. Um, there's some stools. I think the Pac-Man uh Marvel superheroes and NBA Jam stools, I think, are all forty-nine dollars. The uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja uh, uh, TMNT stool is still twenty-nine dollars. It looks like at Walmart, they still got risers available for forty-nine dollars. Uh, that Atari Legacy cabinet is, um, you can still pre-order that from GameStop for three hundred and ninety-nine dollars, and that has a ship date of early July. I think there's actually, I, I've heard there's actually unboxings of that cabinet out there, and I still have not yet to look at it, but I've heard it looks really good, and that's, I'm. I'm considering getting this one, but I got, uh, I may have to wait a couple, I'll probably wait until July. By July, I'll have a better idea what I'm doing with my game room if I want to get that or a Legends Ultimate. But those are two cabinets I'm considering getting, the um, Tempest and the Legends Ultimate. Uh, the Frogger cabinet is still available at Walmart for $3.99. That's the one with the light-up marquee and custom riser, and you get Frogger, Time Pilot, and Time Pilot 84. Some people think that's a really underrated cabinet. Um, I don't know how much I would get it for. I got the countercade, which I really like. I don't know that I would get that full-size cabinet for $3.99. That's just me personally. But if you're a huge Frogger fan, like I said, some people think that's a really underrated cabinet. 
Um, the Big Buck World is $4.99 at Walmart. Big Buck Hunter Pro is $5.49 still at Best Buy. The Outrun Sit-Down Cabinet is $5.49. That's available at Best Buy and GameStop. The Outrun Stand-Up is $5.49 at Best Buy. And I think you can also get it from Walmart and HSN for like $5.99. So you obviously want to go the Best Buy route while it's still available. Um, I think that was on sale. Um, I think Fox did a, a video about that being on sale this week. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure where that was from. That may have been somewhere else. So if you are aware of where that Outrun Stand-Up was on sale at, then you can post that in the comments. Um, NBA GM cabinet is still for the most part available everywhere Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart, all the above. Um, the Pong pub table is $5.49 and that, um, that's out and available. You can get that um, from Best Buy and I know a lot of people think that's actually pretty impressive and it's the reviews for that are pretty good. I don't think I plan on adding that to my game room, at least not anytime soon. I don't, not at that price. I mean, if it went on sale, I may consider it, but I just, I wouldn't, I'm just not really interested at that price. Um, the counter cage, you got the Pac Man. And Miss Pac-Man are both $99 with free shipping from HSN.com. Those are both those cabinets have two games um, on them. Um, also, so Limited Run Games has uh, the Castlevania Anniversary Collection is going to be going on sale. I think this Friday coming up. I think the 14th. So I think the Castlevania Anniversary Collection will be going on pre-order from Limited Run Games. That'll be on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. They have four different editions. They have the standard edition for $34.99, which has a colored manual. Um, and they have the classic edition, and that is basically the NES styled box with the soundtrack and a double sided poster. They got the Bloodlines edition, which is basically based upon the Genesis version. So you get, instead of getting the um, NES looking cart or box, you get that Sega clamshell. It comes with the, you know, the game, the soundtrack, and a double sided poster as well. And those are, I think, 50. I think those are 59. The classic and Bloodlines editions, I think, are 59.99. I don't know. I think those. That's a little bit much for those editions. I think they need to have the steelbook included with that, in my opinion. So I don't know how good of a deal that is. Now they got the Ultimate Edition, and this thing is freaking ridiculous. Now it's 175 dollars, but this comes with a collectible box. It comes with a shadow box that hangs on the wall, and it lights up, plays music. Um, everything that you that was included with the classic edition plus everything that was included with the bloodlines edition so you get that nes style box and you get the clamshell box uh, you get this history of castlevania book which i don't i can't tell if that's a hardcover book or not i'm assuming that it is which it better be for that price um, you get a steel book you get a retro box art prints for the all three of the um, original NES Castlevania games. You get a miniature box collection of all eight games that are included in this anniversary collection. And you get an enamel pen. That thing is freaking ridiculous. That's I mean, it's not a lot of money, but you get a lot of stuff. So that's very tempting. I'm probably going to have to pull the trigger on that one. Um, but check that. All that stuff goes live, I think, this Friday coming up. The Neo Geo Pocket um, Color Selection 1, you can still, it's still available for pre-order. You got the standard and classic edition that goes until May 23rd. Jay and Silent Bob, um, Mall Brawl, there's still a standard and classic editions for the PS4. Um, and those pre-orders go until May 23rd as well. Uh, the Star Wars um, Republic Commando, PS4 and Switch editions. Um, and you got standard and collector's editions for those as well. And that, those pre-orders go until May 16th. And then the Dane Gun uh, Favor on, on the PS4 ends today, um, May 9th. So you got the standard and collector's edition for that one that ends today. So get that order in if you want it. Uh, that is it um, for the most part. I finally got like a, I got a reskin for my golden tea cabinet. So I've got my golden tea cabinet. It's been sitting in the box for weeks now, almost a month, I'd say, because I ordered a full skin from Ar Arcade Graphics and they, um, for whatever reason, they usually, they usually give me stuff within like two weeks, but for some reason they must be backed up because it took them almost a month to get me the, uh, all this stuff. It's, it's down there. So hopefully I'll get to putting that on and actually getting the golden tea set up today. Like I said, my Star Wars pinball arrives tomorrow. I believe so I should be putting that together and getting it set up tomorrow and I ordered a monitor replacement from Arcade Mod up a 19 inch monitor replacement which I got a video I'll be doing in regards to that and I should finish putting that together today so got a lot going on I'm also in the process of putting together um, a racing sim or I guess more of a racing cockpit that will be more of an arcade styled um, um, rigged and like a simulation style rig and i think that's gonna be really cool when i get set up i'll probably have that finished and wrapped up within the month maybe within the next couple weeks uh so i'll be doing a video about that when i get all that set up i think there's some really cool i think the stuff the gear that i've gathered 
I think will be a lot of, of a lot of interest to y'all as far as like more like arcade or retro style fans of racing. So um, it could be used as more of like a, it could be used as like a racing simulation style rig. But the games that I'm gearing it to are more towards like a kind of like what would be more of a retro style or um, fans. So. I think that's going to be really cool when it's finished and I'm going to be excited to get that um, wrapped up and make a video about it. But that is it for this um, episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.